Kitsch here here and we're in for a big news video today. We got the final song of the Aquas Girls solo albums with Yoshiko and we finally have a new Aquas anime on the horizon. No, it's not an April Fool's joke anymore. The video you saw back in April is indeed a thing now. But first, let's talk about the Yoshiko song, huh? song was pretty expected considering which idol we're talking about here. However, just because something is expected doesn't always mean that it's bad. Yoshiko has a beautiful voice and it's best presented here. Also, considering what we got from Yoshiko's second solo and her first solo, telling us that she has a white wing and a black wing, we were expected to get another Yohane piece anyway. Which I'm not complaining. It's very in character and I'd be jamming out to it all in my own spare time. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's finally get to the 800 pound gorilla in the room. <laughs> Yohane of the Parhelion, Sunshine in the Mirror, was first announced back on April 1st of this year, but because it was announced on April Fool's Day, everyone assumed that Lance has created an elaborate joke, which probably got them some good YouTube views if the channel was monetized, which, who am I kidding, it most likely is. However, the next teaser trailer came out on June 26th, but this time the company announced the alternate character names of the Aquas Girls and a tentative date, which, I mean, it's coming out sometime in 2023, for this new show. Okay, Lantis must have overheard my last few videos when I was asking them for more anime aquas content because this feels like a dream coming right into reality. I don't know too much about the show, but based on what I understand from the comments and video context clues, this new anime is based off of the Yohane concept that Yoshiko always plays from Love Life Sunshine. I find it very funny that they released this right as Yoshiko's next solo album comes out, but I'm not complaining. Because I can't read in Japanese at all, I could not tell you wholeheartedly who the characters are in the show, but I only knew that Yoshiko was Yohane because duh, and Riko might be named Lily because that's what Yoshiko called her in season two of the show. The video doesn't really say the archetypes of each of the girls either, but as a person who's played a lot of fantasy anime games, I can only guess just by looking at them, but don't quote me on it. Mari is the demon lord queen. I mean, just look at her. Lily is a potions user mage of some sort, maybe a healer. Kanon is definitely a blacksmith. Yo reminds me of a Pokemon trainer, so I can only guess that she's a traveler type and she knows how to navigate maybe herbs. Chica is the barmaiden. Ruby? Well, you can obviously tell just by looking at this cutie. How come I can't get a ruby fairy? I want a ruby fairy! Daya is the librarian scholar because you definitely need one of those in a fantasy series. Hanamaru is a town girl, but maybe she's another? singer type maybe? And lastly we have our hero Yohane who is a magic mage who can also transform into a wolf apparently maybe? The anime also already seems to have a star staff cast when it comes to animation and music. You have Asami Nakatani who was a dance director and storyboarder for Nijikasaki season 2 as the director of this anime as a whole. You have Toshia Ono of Shadow House fame as the composer. Sword Art Online's co-character designer, Yomiko Yamamoto, is the character designer for Yohane's anime. And I don't blame them because this show is very Sword Art Online-esque. And lastly, we have Tatsuya Kato from Ensemble Stars, also as a music composer. Of course, altogether, Sunrise Studio is the production company overall. Is this concept of a fantasy RPG looking show original? Obviously not. But considering this is a spin-off from an idol franchise, I don't think anyone was ever going to complain. Hell, it beats this show being an isekai. Okay, I'm being real right now. If this show does become an isekai when it comes out, I'm throwing everything I possess from this group out the window. Overall, I'm pretty excited for this project. First, Twisted Wonderland is getting an anime. And now the Aquas girls are finally getting a spinoff. Well, not finally. They actually are. We had no idea this was going to be a thing. Everything seems to be going right in the animation department, at least. And that's the video. If you guys liked what you saw and heard, 
please hit like, subscribe, the bell, my socials, and the comments down below. I'm Kate Sharon. It's been real. Ciao.